Hey guys, it's Reed here, and welcome back to Two Nerds Tech. So this time, we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to use VirtualBox to run Windows 7 in a virtual machine. So basically, what you're going to need is you're going to need VirtualBox. And you're also going to need the ISO file mounted. Okay, in this case, we're using the Windows 7 all in one. So basically, what you're going to do is you're gonna, it should create a shortcut in your start menu. You're going to op open VirtualBox. You're going to press new. You can title it whatever you want. In this case, I'm titling Windows 7. You want to select the operating system you're going to be running. Sadly, 64-bit is not on here yet, I don't think. And I think Ubuntu is also missing. I have no clue why. But anyways, that's what first you need to do that. Then you want to choose how much RAM you're going to have. I recommend is like a gigabyte. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put like 2 gigabytes instead then you do want to create a virtual hard disk I'm gonna create this I'm gonna make it a fixed size now I can set the size I'm gonna set it to be 32 gigabytes I'm gonna, actually no let's set it to be like 40 not 50 gigabytes then you're gonna press create now keep in mind this may take some time so I'm gonna cut out the video and we are going and I'll be right back once this is finished okay guys I am back and basically, it has been created. So you'll notice here it says powered off. You're just going to make sure your ISO file is mounted. And just double check the, and look at the drive letter. Then you're going to press start. Make sure this is highlighted. Then you're going to select start disk and you're going to select E or whatever letter it is. And it's... It's going to be an optical disk or an optical drive, which means you can also use an ESD CD for this. So now it's starting. You can maximize this, but this will stay like this. Then you'll say it's loading files, and it'll, from here, it's just like you're actually running Windows 7. Like from here, it's like you're actually installing Windows 7. So you'll see it should load up the setup screen and stuff. And this is all running from the ISO file, not your DVD drive, not your US, not USB drive, nothing. And also keep in mind that it's still it's not affecting the Windows 10 operating system that I'm running right now. Let's see, it's just starting Windows. Takes a minute. Basically, you guys, you'll know when Windows has been officially working when you see this logo and the assemble thing. And basically, this here means this right here means that you don't have to. Click the right control key to actually get the mouse to be within the virtual machine. Basically, with that, when, when it supports mouse pointer integration, it basically means you can move it out, take it back to your normal OS, and move it in just to go back in. So basically, now you'll see you've got this screen. You can select your language and stuff, which is probably English. You just press install now. It'll take just, a, just only like a minute or 30 seconds or so. And they'll say setup is starting. Pretty soon it's going to take you to a screen where you can like, you're going to, you have two options, I believe. And then, well, first you have to accept the license, of course. But accepting the license shouldn't be that bad. Like, you don't have to read it all if you don't want to. Just letting you guys know. So... If you select one that's x86 or x64, depending on your architecture, but for me, I'm going to select an x86, even though mine's x64, because I only, I gave it Windows, you have to make sure, remember, it selected Windows 7 32-bit, instead of Windows 7 64-bit, because that's not an option yet. So, you can select any of the x86 ones, we're going to do Home Premium. Then, of course, now you have the license, because this is an all-in-one ISO, you can download it. Just you have to have the ISO online, which I'll leave, it's pcriver.com, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. 
So you're going to select custom. You're going to select the only drive there is. This should be equal to the amount of space that you gave it. And you'll press next. Then it should start installing Windows. Keep in mind, this will not affect your PC at all. Now, for this part, I'm going to, I'm probably going to be back once this is finished because this is going to take several minutes, I believe. Not several hours, several minutes, but yeah, so I'll be back when this is finished. Okay, guys, I am back, and you can just close these, by the way. Now, you'll notice that it should have restarted a, a couple times, and you should have been taking to multiple screens, but now you're actually on the screen for setup. I'm going to type... Now, you'll tell right here, it does shorten it for a computer name. So, computer name, I'm going to change that. Now, you'll press next. Now, you'll set a password. And the password hint, I'm gonna, just going to type... I don't want you guys knowing. Now you can press next. Now it will ask for a proc key. If you have a Windows 7 proc key, use it if you want to. But you can also just press skip. Now you're gonna. Now this is up to you. You probably want to use recommended settings or install important updates only. You probably don't want this because you know security threats and stuff. I'm just gonna use recommended settings. Set your time to the right thing, and then press next. Now choose. You probably now it's it'll automatically connect you to a network because it'll connect you to the network that your your actual computer, like the one down here, is connected to. So basically, you you can select you can probably select home network if you're at your house, work network if you're at your work, and then public, of course, if you don't recognize the computers on the network. I'm going to select home network. Now it's going to connect and apply a setting. It'll just show up as having network and then saying internet access. is not actually going to say like the name of the network. But trust me, it's connected. I've tried it. I can go online and everything. So this is going to connect. This shouldn't take too long. But yeah. Okay, now it's going to finalize your settings. You can tell because I selected home premium, it says Windows 7 home premium. So, then it sh might reboot. I, no, it didn't reboot. So, now you've got the welcome screen, of course. It will play sounds through your speakers on your hardware. If you connect USB devices to it, if you go into VirtualBox, and then you can select devices, and you can select USB devices that you want to work on there. In most cases, these will be configured for you including the system ones, like, that may be a USB device, but that's my wireless card, I have a Bluetooth adapter or something. So it'll prepare your desktop, and I believe after it says this, it should take you directly to your desktop. Now, keep in mind, guys, it'll most likely only be in the window right here. For a second, I couldn't see my mouse, cause, because my mouse is here, but when I move it in here, I'm not supposed to have a mouse in the virtual machine right now. And so, of course, it goes away. But the mouse will have to stay within this window for it to actually work. Most Windows operating systems will work with this where you can move it out automatically. And it'll automatically start doing things on your normal operating system that you're actually running. And then you'll move it back in here, and then it'll just do it all again. So, yeah, that should pretty much be taken care of for you. If, if not, I think the default is the right control key. The control key, the, right, the one on the right is what I meant. And... That will make it so the mouse comes out of here and make it go in here. Yep, you just heard that. There's the audio for it. So you'll see here, all it says is network, I believe. Then you've got the battery, of course, because this is a laptop. You could also do this on this stuff. Then you got the file explorer and everything. It's just like Windows 7, basically. And, you, and I'll prove to you that I can go online. Google. Or not. Or not. So I'm going to try going to Google. Keep in mind that some 
will not some errors will not work with this because this is Internet Explorer 8. You can just set this up. But then so see it does work. But keep in mind web pages and stuff may look smaller on here because of the how it's a smaller desktop. But yeah, you have the start menu and everything. So this is basically yeah guys, this is basically how you run Windows 7 or a Windows operating system. You can even run like Windows NT and all that old stuff, I believe. But yeah, but you need ISO for it. So yeah guys, that's that's how you do it. And run Windows 7 on a virtual machine. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.